Hello everybody, it is Bordrick Sodoff here and I'm bringing you a review of Rising Storm and Red Orchestra 2. So anyway, as you can see, the main menu and server browser is very neat. It's, it's got nothing wrong with it. It's very easy to use, as you could see there, it was just loading a few servers and twitching a bit. But apart from that, it's a very solid 9 out of 10 for that. I Or 10 out of 10, there's nothing wrong with it. So... I've got nothing wrong with the uh, menus or anything, and here comes the gameplay, so this, we're starting off with Red Orchestra 2 as it's an older game and it, I'm pretty sure it was made in 2011 and this review is being done in 2013, and compared to 2013 games it stands up very well, but let's get into the gameplay of this, it is a bit choppy, even if you've got a decent computer, it's just that it limits its frame rate if you turn on VSync to about 65, so you're not going to get anything above like 70 at max, even without VSync, so that's very annoying. Highly recommend turning on VSync, otherwise it looks a bit bad. And when you run it, it's a bit choppy as well, but I'm not sure why they limited our frames to only 60, because if you've got... If you want to run the settings on, like, low, because you want a faster frame rate, it's not going to happen. And this game is also a big pain in the ass to record with Fraps. I had to switch to DX Tori, which I know works a lot better than Fraps, because it gives it a lot more options to record. Uh, I would recommend playing this in 1080p if you can, because it looks just very awesome. There's not any big glitches I've found. Sometimes when you're trying to take cover it can glitch a bit. But now we're getting to Rising Storm. So the gameplay of both of them is basically the same. The difference is with Rising Storm I think the maps are a bit newer and it's a DLC to Red Orchestra 2. But I bought the game with including Red Orchestra 2 and Rising Storm of Steam. You can get it for about 15 to 20 dollars. If it's on Steam sale I'd say about 10 dollars. So you're lucky if you get it for that because it's a very solid game. The only thing which it doesn't have is a single player campaign. But it does have single player which I'm playing right now. And you can host, uh, I'm pretty sure you can host servers with bots and people. And I'm just playing against bots here. So I can get you some nice gameplay. But if you turn it to realistic mode, it's like real life. It's not... Armor free realism or armor two realism, but it's very realistic still. So if you're coming from Call of Duty fast-paced shooters, uh, you may not like this game. Even though I have, I've loved this game because I'm sort of a camper. But yeah, if you're playing multiplayer, you just have to camp or you're gonna die, guys. You can't just run around like I am here. But if you wanna have some Call of Duty fun, just put the bots to a easy setting and you can play it like Call of Duty if you really want but if you're playing against other people you're just gonna get your butt kicked guys I wouldn't recommend it and also the graphics uh, there's one problem I've noticed uh, when you first load the gun it sort of renders the graphics for it so it looks a bit bad but it's not a big deal I'm being a bit fussy there and another thing I love about it that increases its overall score is the uh, training level, so that helps you out with how to crouch, duck, shoot, uh, adjust your sights, so you can get long shots, it's just very good. It's one of the better training levels I've ever seen in a game, like, a lot of games don't even have training levels, I'm thinking what the hell do I have to do, and you have to look at the options, see what does what, and sometimes it doesn't even work, was these controls work perfectly, even though there are a lot of controls. And I'm not sure why, but there is a sort of a delay with recording with DX Story between the sound so I have to sort of fix that up, but it's no big problem. It's in 1080p at least. So anyway guys, uh, it, I highly recommend it. If you see it on Steam sale, don't hesitate getting it even though it's in 2011. You can't really notice that. It does have like very good graphics. It's probably better than Call of Duty Black Ops 2 graphics. And it's a 2011 game. So anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this review. And I'll give you the score, which is 8.5 out of 10 guys. I hope you enjoyed this review as I said before. And remember to comment, rate and subscribe to my channel. See you later guys.